Well, I nervously recorded those first few videos for this channel. I never dreamt that by the end of the year I'd have 1,000 subscribers. So to say hello to my new subscribers, and also to say thank you to those of you who have been with me for the full journey, I thought I'd put together these highlights of my 20 favourite parts of Chandwell. So as you're watching these highlights, please let me know in the comments below, do you agree with the 20 I've chosen? Would you have chosen something else? I really appreciate all of your comments, so please do add one. So without further ado, let's go and we'll start at number 20, which is taking a look at the newest addition to Chandwell. Watch out in early January for the Weir Inn, a grand old pub opposite Iron Bridge Works. I just love this little arch as the viaduct disappears into Baker's Hill. Essential access to the river or a place to hang around, smoke, drink and do graffiti. Whichever, these steps really add a sense of place. It was just an excuse to use the inner tube of some dog poo bags, but I really like this. chunkier of the two tunnels, King Edward's Tunnel has curved wing walls made from cornflake packet. Based on the scale scenes kit, I had great fun making my own frontages for these businesses. One of two skew arches in the viaduct, I had great fun making this wide arch and there are videos on my channel that show how I did it. Built in the 13th century, Chandwell's old bridge is a replica of the one that crosses the wharf in Otley. With its low water and its stuck tree, Robert's Weir is based on one in Sheffield and it's named after my friend who went down there to try and gauge its size when I was designing it. Under the skew arch and disappearing into the distance, Bridge Street is actually an exercise in forced perspective as we can see here. Made with nothing other than cornflake packet and multiple layers of textures, Charlotte Lane Bridge, covered in graffiti, is really evocative of the time and place that I'm trying to model.
watch my next video for your chance to be the one who names this river. Might be a good idea to subscribe if you haven't done already. With its nine arches, each made of three layers of half millimetre card, it took ages to cut this out. It was a real labour of love, but it's the most favourite part of Chandwell's viaduct. Number one spot has to go to Chandwell's viaduct itself. It took me almost all year to make, and I couldn't be happier with how it's turned out. Many thanks to the members of the Model Railway YouTube community group on Facebook. Your help and advice this past year has really helped me in the growing of my channel and the developing of my layout.